Life is like an equation. Only if all pieces come together would you get the expected result. Mommy will like this picture. I worked so hard. Something. What? I judge you picture. Look, it's for you. Ugh, you made me come out for that? You know, I was busy, you little frog. What are you jumping around for, huh? <sighs> what am I gonna do with this useless trash? You know, you don't think I don't have enough clutter around here? I need more trash? But, Mommy, I drew that picture for you. Don't you like it? Oh, of course I like it. I love it. You want to see how much I love it? and we just moved here and I'm so flipping excited. Tomorrow's my first day of school and I can't wait to meet everyone and make new friends. I want to document everything with my new camera so I can share my memories with my kids someday. <laughs> Stay tuned. Today was my first day of school, and it was interesting. I mean, school was okay, but not everything went as I expected. Oh well, I'll just tell you. Here's what happened on my way home from school. Hey, new kid, what up? You're new here, aren't you? Yeah, my name's Adam Sider. What's your name? <laughs> Spider? Is that what you said your last name was? Wow. No. Cider. Adam Cider. Didn't say spider. My name's Adam Cider. I don't like sp spiders, but I really do like Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man? Seriously? You think you're funny, Snyder Woman? Well, you aren't. <laughs> My name's Nathan, and something tells me you're going to remember that for the rest of your life. What? Rest of my life? We're gonna be just best buddies. See you around, loser. What? So now I, I don't know if Nathan is really my friend or if he was just joking about it. Oh well, tomorrow's another day. I have to go. My moms are calling me to dinner and I have to tell my sister about my first day. For you, my future kids, that'll be your Aunt Miranda. Did you get in trouble again, honey? 
No. Why do you always think I'm just useless junk? Cause you are. Go to your room and don't come out until I say so. <sighs> Mom, let me finish dinner, please. I didn't do anything. There's a new kid at school and I just talked to him today. So? Listen to me. He has two mothers, but he's very nice. Can you believe it? Are you telling me that you're making friends with a faggot? Are you a faggot? No, Mom, no. I was just trying to tell you what happened today. Well, what do I care? I can't stand to look at you. Get out of my sight. You gave me a headache. Go, I said, you stupid piece of garbage. You're as useless as your father was. You know, Spider, I thought about you a lot. Do you think we can be friends? <sighs> sure, great. Have you want to be my friend? <laughs> Who said I ever wanted to be your friend? I just asked if you think we can be friends. <sighs> Too bad we have different opinions on this, Spider. Well, maybe only in your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad we have different opinions on this. I just thought about something. You're not a spider. You're sour cider. <laughs> so why don't you just go back where you came from, huh? Hey, is it true you have two mothers? Because I heard someone at school tell me that. And I think I believe them. What were you thinking telling everyone that, you stupid fag? Just because, just because my moms are gay doesn't mean I am too. For a record, I have great parents. Loving and kind and generous. No one in my family will be so mean. I don't give a damn about your family does or doesn't do, because you don't have a family. Two mothers? What are you, adopted? Two women cannot have a baby, so why don't you just shut up, sit down, and don't talk about things you don't know? Huh, Cider? And I heard one of your parents is a foreigner, so you're not even American. Just because my mom wasn't born here, doesn't mean she's an American. She's as much American as you and your same family. Leave me alone. I want to talk to you. Let it... Loser. Look at your pants. You have to tell mom about what happened. No, I can't. We just moved here and they're so stressed about everything. I don't want to cause them more troubles. Plus, what are they going to do? Find me someone to walk to school and back? I can take you there and meet you after. No, you can't! First of all, classes start earlier and end later. Second of all, it's bad enough I'm being picked on. I don't want to add that my sister is being my bodyguard. I'm sorry, sis. See, you're getting all upset. Imagine if I told moms. Promise you won't tell. All right. <sighs> but you have to promise me, if this kid won't leave you alone, you will speak up. This Nathan is nothing but a bully. Remember debug. Follow it, ignore him, and just walk away. And what are you gonna say about your pants? I'll tell them I fell down at recess. So this is how it happened. Miranda is right. I should debug Nathan. For you, my future kids, Aunt Miranda is very wise. Better listen to her, or else. You're just as useless as your father was. Go, I said, you stupid piece of garbage!
Are you a faggot? Today, Nathan brought a few other boys with him. Try to ignore them, but they punched me to the ground. I had enough! They're, that's it. That's it. Tomorrow, I'm gonna show them what I'm made of. They took it too far. They're calling me today a, a stinging junior retarded Russian fag. They're saying awful things about my mothers and Miranda. I'm so worried they'll hurt my sister. My moms keep asking me why my grades went from A's to D's. But I can't tell them how afraid and distracted I am every day. I heard them talk about it. They're blaming it on the move and me not fitting in. Me, I always fit in. I'm the ha friendliest and happiest child on earth. Or at least I used to be. <laughs> That's it. Tomorrow's the day I'll show Nathan what I'm made of, so he'll never bully anyone ever again! Huh? In sports, the national. Why didn't you clean the dishes? I did, right after school. Does this look clean to you? Answer when your mother was talking to you. That, that bowl, it wasn't there when I washed the dishes. Someone must have used it after I was done. Oh, so if it's my bowl or your brother's, it's not your responsibility. I didn't say that. I just... I don't know. Well, why don't you clean it now? Or maybe it's easy <coughs> when it's in pieces. I didn't do anything wrong, okay? You can't talk to me like that. I'm your son. Oh, so I'm wrong and you're right? The house just... said I could stay home. Do you want to stay too? I'm sure they'll be okay with that, please. Adam, I'll say that I need you, please. Um, please stay. I can't, I have a test today. Plus, I have better things to do than stay here with a girl. Adam, why are you being so mean? You never talk like that. <clears throat> Let me go, you cry baby. Are you supposed <laughs> to be an example for me or something? Let me go. Adam? Hey, fag. I well, sorry for you. I really do. I mean, how'd you end up so unlucky? You're a Jew? You have gay parents? Dude, your life cannot suck any harder. Is your sister a lesbo? Because if so, I have an older brother that could really help her, you know, get rid of that problem. Did you fall asleep under there? You know, covering your ugly face does not hide how much of a loser you are. No, I had enough of you. I refuse, REFUSE to be a part of this anymore. I thought you'd have your fun, leave me alone, but no! Continue to punch me to the ground and ruin my clothes, but no more! You know, my moms always say that two wrongs don't make a right, but in your case, I'm afraid that's not true. So the only way to teach you a lesson is to treat you your way. So here's my present for you! Oh. This is not my sister's! This is not for my mother's!
mom was crying all night. Again, we will never be the same. Our family's all broken up. How are we going to survive this? Big sister, he knew he could trust you. You didn't want to break that special bond you guys had. It's not your fault. Not your fault. How can you say that? How can you? How can you be so blind? I could have told you. I could have told someone at school and not just stay silent. I watched him suffer, and didn't do anything. <gasps> It's going to be okay. It's not going to be okay, Mom. Wake up and look at us. Look where we ended up. You lost your job because you can barely get out of bed. Mama has to work two jobs just so we can scrape by and we never see her anymore. We moved to this horrible place at the end of the world and we have no life. But this is not so bad. And this is all we can afford right now. And I promise you I will get myself Mom, together. It's the same old story. You'll get your job back and we'll live happily ever after in this stupid fairy tale. Wrong! We're never gonna be the same again! Ever! Mira, that's not fair. Sarah and I are doing everything we possibly can. But you're forgetting that we're hurting too. We lost our son! And you're right, nothing is gonna bring him back. You can hate the world, it's not gonna change the fact that he's gone. And that boy, Nathan, even if he's gonna stay in jail for the rest of his life, I will never gonna be able to hug my baby boy again, or kiss him, or watch him grow up and get married and have kids. You have no idea how much it hurts. <laughs> What do you know about pain and guilt? You still have another child you're supposed to take care of. Or have you forgotten that I'm alive? What? <laughs> yeah. You little girl still needs some love and affection too. She doesn't want to see one of her mothers working herself to death while the other one is laying in bed all day doing nothing. Not even trying. You know what I think? I think this is all just so convenient for you. You get everything handed to you on a silver platter. Miranda, I'm sorry. I'm gonna give this to that boy Nathan so we can watch Adam's journal and suffer for the rest of his life. Miranda, please. It's never gonna happen again, I promise. Miranda, Leave me alone. please don't go. Miranda! Leave me alone! <laughs> Is there any reason you could think of, ma'am? No. I told you we had a fight, and she just ran off. Was this a physical fight? No, there is no abuse in this house. We had a death in the family. Her younger brother died. Your son? That was your son that died? Yes, it was my son. Let me get this straight. Your son died. What? I told you, I'm calling about my daughter. She's missing. My partner and I called everyone we know. We looked everywhere. She's nowhere to be found. She's gone. Ma'am, if you could just calm down. Are you positive she's run what? away? Have you checked with your friends and neighbors? Yes, I do think she ran away. She's very upset right now. She doesn't know what she's doing. You know, please, just, please help us find our baby. We can't lose both of them. Just, please. Ma'am, but we've got an officer in your area and I'm sending him to you on location. Street, we should be there. 
I read about what your mother did to you. I'm sorry. No wonder you were so angry at everyone. But why Adam? He was so friendly and loved everyone. What does it matter now? I need to know. I have a right to know. I was jealous, okay? What? You heard me. I was jealous. He just... He reminded me when I was so little. Just happy. Naive. I wanted to be him again. Be me. It's not fair. I want you to have this. This was Adam's journal. He recorded it every day since he went to that school. Since he met you. I forgive you. You can be a better person. That's what my brother would have wanted. So now I, I don't know if Nathan is really my friend or if he was just joking about it. Oh well, tomorrow's another day. I have to go. My moms are calling me to. Hey, little guy. You on your way home? Lucky. I don't have a home anymore. Can't look in my mother's eyes after what I did or didn't do. It is complicated. It's okay. I didn't deserve to have a nice, comfortable life. I didn't protect my baby brother. I'll never have a family, kids. I could take it all back. I can't live my life this way. I'm so alone. I never talked to moms again. I can't even imagine how much sorrow I brought on them. 
was I thinking? Life is like an equation. Only if all pieces come together would you get the expected result. Look at your pants. You have to tell moms about what happened. No, I can't. We just moved here, and they're so stressed about everything. I want to cause them more troubles. Do you really think that they won't think I'm making a big deal over nothing? Of course not. You know moms rock. OK. I guess I'll tell them over dinner. Only Adam told her mothers the truth. He would have been all grown up and happy. Moms, I need to tell you about something that happened on my way home from school today. Mommy, mommy! What do you want from me again? Come here, quick, I want to show you something. What? Look, I dropped you a picture. It's for you. You do this for me. It's so sweet. I love it. Can I keep it in my room? If only Nathan's mother didn't treat him the way she did. He would have grown up a kind and successful person. He and Adam could have been good friends. If only I talked to someone and protected my brother. He would still have been in my life. We would be watching his childhood videos together. Strange, sometimes I have dreams about Adam and I having our own families. In that new life, I'm married to Nathan, who is Adam's best friend and the mayor of our town. This is the life I'm dreaming about every day. That I'll never be a reality. I will never hear Adam's voice again. I have a surprise for you. Really? What is it? Mm, maybe you should guess. <laughs> You're up. <gasps> oh, happy birthday. Thank you so much. I kept silence when I needed to speak up, and silence is my only companion in life forever. For everyone who can hear me, don't make the same mistake.